All right, welcome everyone to my video on the Jinsi weapon comparison. Um, before I can start, I just want to say thank you to everyone who corrected me on my last video or videos about all the mistakes I've made, and I appreciate how nice that everyone's been to me, uh, helping me. A lot of people requested that this video came out, so all my mistakes that I've made previously, they I should have gotten rid of all of them. I just want to say once again thank you for coming out and telling me where I was wrong. You know, no one's perfect, and even then. Even someone who looks like they know what they're doing all right will still make mistakes. I'm really appreciative that everyone came and told me where I was wrong. So the main place I was wrong was the crit value. I didn't understand since I've just been a whole, like I've been only game I played like this is Genshin. Uh, Genshin didn't show you the 100% flat, right? But uh, I fixed that, right? This is 63.5 over 131. This is subtracted the 100 flat crit damage that just show on screen, right? So, so this is actually going to be 231.6 if you look at it in game. Uh, with that out of the way, here is the artifacts that we're using, right? I made these all up, these stats. I don't have this in-game. Uh, to keep everything fair and balanced, I am going to assume I have 90 crit value total through all five pieces. 90 crit value is equivalent to one crit substat on this one, this one, and this one. You know, your 4-3-3. And then you have two crit stats on the one cost. You know, it's really easy to get two on these and uh, not so easy to get on these. So I'm going to be a little fair there. And how I'm going to do it is... With this 90 crit value I have from everything, I'm going to mold it into uh, the crit rate and crit damage and bring out the best average damage possible for every weapon. So for this one, it's going to be 63.5 over 131. It could be a little bit better if I tweaked, but it's it's really small and doesn't really matter too much here. We're also going to be getting 59% uh, attack from all of our whole artifact set, including these two here, and 440 flat attack from everything. We have a skill damage bonus, 14, and alt damage bonus at 26, with our spectra being 144. This is including her inherent one. This is including the 12% from this, Ikes. It's including everything. So with that all out the way, let's move on and see what the other weapons looking like. You can see that the crit rate to crit damage is the exact same on this weapon as well. They have, they have the same crit value, right? 48.6, same crit value on both the weapons. Um, I just have to change up how much crit value I'm getting from these. It doesn't matter if it's crit rate. If it was crit damage, it would still end up being this. So... Uh, that argument can't be made this time. I uh, fixed it. Uh, the only difference between these two is look at that skill damage, right? 14% here, 16.2 over here, or 60, 62% over here. And then here's the standard. It has no crit main stat, so I had to use the crit value to come to a better conclusion between these, and I got 52.5 over 105. The best cr uh, ratio you can get uh, if you have only 90 crit value, right? Say so you get more, it's like, yeah. Um, with that out of the way. You can see we have more attack because it's attack means that uh we have more alt damage as well right? it gives weapon gives 21 percent alt so let's move on here's all the benefits from the weapons right then this is the team right we're gonna use it. we're gonna use verena who will give us 35 percent attack with her healing set plus she already gives 20 in her kit with a 15 percent defense and the damage bonus from this turtle and this bird are is going to show up in the skill and liberation right these are both plus 22 from, if you look at the artifacts to the year, this 20% inherent is also added. Um, these defense are both added, and here's what our stats are going to look like with this weapon level 90, uh, Jinsu level 90. And here's all the important stats, okay? Here is our signature, same thing. The only difference is the skill damage 84 over there, 36 over here. Here's the free to play we have more attack, less crit rate, less crit damage, right? No main stat is <laughs> gonna hold us back. And then we have more alt damage. Okay, let's move on a little. Here is what we're looking like. With the free-to-play option, uh, this is our damage, right? 13,195. 13, uh, I'm going to explain to you how I got to this number. I took my the motion value for the first part. I took the motion value of the second part. You know, 77.4. That's where it's here, here. This gets ran through the attack. To their total attack after buffing up this goes to the crit value i fixed it this time guys you know uh, thank you everyone for correcting me uh you know <laughs> showing me how to properly do this and then this goes to the enemy defense the damage bonus every enemy in the game has 10 percent damage reduction to all elements so we already do 90 percent damage and then this goes to the deep end this is verena and tauchi so this should be 1.53 uh, i was too lazy to go back and change everything so this doesn't really change anything you know these percentages will not change based on the weapon it's just you i'm like minus 800 damage and shit i just was too lazy to go back and change it so here you can see all the damage numbers you could expect with all weapons 
Sorry if I sound weird. I have a stuffy nose. I'm a little sick. Here's everything you can expect. You're on the this page. When you're using her fourth resonance skill, you're gonna still hit 120,000 damage at 40 incandescence, which is super bananas in my opinion. Using a free to play weapon, being able to see this damage is super sick. So despite it being 27% worse than her best in slot, you're still able to see godlike numbers. Um, her alt has this cool mechanic of when you stack it up properly. It's like Eula from Genshin Impact, where you're just going to add damage percentage to the base number, which is 347. If it's worded correctly and it's not a um, translation error, it should just add it so you get a total of 1,421% uh, damage, leading us to this big ass number here. And then the alt, despite this weapon main thing giving 21% alt damage, it's still going to do 0.7% less damage than both these weapons. Uh, let's move on here. So if it is of course plus 8.4 in all the skills, but it's still worse than her best in slot by 17.2%. So if you have Geon, I think this weapon is still good by the way. If you have Geon's weapon, 100% do not roll for her signature. Unless you really like the character, you know, don't let me have any control over what you do. Uh, I don't think it's worth it though. I, like, I will not be doing it. Here's all the damage numbers you can expect with this weapon on skill 1, 2, and 3. And then your skill 4, now able to hit 130,000 for 120. This is that plus 8.4 you're doing over the standard. And then the alt is, of course, doing plus 0 0.7, but it's equal with their best in slot, right? The only difference between these weapons are the best in slot gives in 48% damage bonus. So, let's see all this. And then we move to our best in slot. Here are the numbers you can expect to use with this thing. 16k, 21, and then 46. So, you're seeing some very filthy damage numbers. We got this damage bonus, it's through the roofs. Um, give a beautiful crit multiplier with this. We went to the next page, and uh, here in the ult, you can see that our average we're hitting for 153k. Uh, that's kind of diabolical, that's pretty demonic. Uh, that's a crit, by the way. If or average, I mean, the a crit you're gonna hit for 193,000, right? So, just give a 60 what a 64% chance to hit uh, 193, where your average is gonna hit for 153 now. Um, and then here's our ult, you know, of course, doing plus seven over the standard and it's equal to burden summit so the basically to summarize everything up this weapon is of course better the best weapon it's 27 percent better than the standard it's only 17.1 percent better than Gian's weapon uh and if i think it's worth it to pull no i don't think even if you have the standard weapon i do not think this thing is worth it to pull uh this one um if you have the standard weapon the free to blow one you'll be able to clear everything just fine really need to like this character really really need to love this character to get this weapon and then you'll be seeing some super demonic damage i will by no means will be pulling for this weapon but um yeah that's really everything i have i believe i got everything correct this time thanks to all the feedback i got in my previous videos if you found this informative in any way shape or form feel free to leave a like man uh if i got anything wrong again please let me know below uh, i'm trying to just try and prove and prove and prove until i am perfect and yeah that's that uh, with that, I'm going to leave you guys, and uh, peace out, man.